Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So let's talk about the best generation ever. We haven't had such a good generation for a long time. Look at Linus Tech Tips. Very happy. Everybody's talking about this generation. Look guys, very happy face. Big smile. Big smile here. Look guys, Gamers Nexus smiling. Look at this guy, huge smile. Very, you know, happy people. Big smile here. You know, he cannot believe how amazing this technology is. He also in disbelief smiling how amazing this generation is. Everybody is so happy with these cards. And these guys absolutely love this his channel, classical technology. He doesn't make videos about building PCs, yeah? Because nobody seems to watch these videos. He's making videos and fame and views of people returning the cards and not being happy with the cards. That's how you can recognize amazing generation of GPUs. Like this, this guy here. It's a channel that makes you feel good. Makes you feel good of not buying the new GPUs. Guys, Graphical D Challenge just mentioned that Nvidia limiting the production of GPUs, which is not news. We, we knew about this but we can check amazon us and look if the new generation is losing to the last generation that's how how good it is that and uh, let's check new egg guy again the new generation losing to the last generation and this generation is so good that even online like on reddit on forums people recommend cards like this one 1080 ti yeah less than 200 dollars and you have enough vram or 2080 ti this generation was considered amazing because it offered almost no uplift in performance no uplift in vram at crazy prices with new technology ray tracing that no game had and not enough performance for us to even use that ray tracing so this was was already amazing amazing gpus and these people suggest that is better than the newest one yeah pretty amazing or even 3090 this was considered as amazing value and this is better value now than the new generation of card because it gives you 24 gigabytes of vira which seems like too much but guys this one was considered too much as well why would you go with 11 gigabytes of vira yeah so you future proof for at least few months because 8 gigabytes it's not enough already and look, I don't understand why people are not more excited about these cards. Because it's such amazing uplift in performance. Look, 4060 Ti is even 10% faster than the last generation. On average, it means ray tracing as well. If you don't use ray tracing, it may be even slower. Why people are not more excited? And yes, some people said, look guys, but AMD, AMD is 34% faster. Yeah, cool. 34% faster from no performance, from slow like a turtle. So 34% faster than a turtle, it's a little bit faster turtle. Guys, why people are not excited about this turtle here at higher price? I don't understand why people are not excited. And look, you know, I, I mentioned before, maybe AMD has brain damage. Because they compare this card to the MSRP. Yeah, this MSRP, it's it's a lala land. Yeah, that they don't exist. Let, let me just bring the real prices, guys. Real prices. The 6700 is less than $300. F 67, this is 320 This one, you know, a little bit over 300 This card, where is that? This card, 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Also amazing that they were bragging about the VRAM and now bringing less VRAM. But anyway. Yeah, so the, the, the rumor says that it will cost $300 or even more because they want to compare to MSRP, not to the real price, to the MSRP. So maybe they have a brain damage. Maybe somebody in the company is in La La Land. Like, you know, not in reality. But also, this these guys, they're not much better. You have 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, which is a little bit slower, not much slower, a little bit slower, but you would downgrade these days if you would go with 8 gigabytes. You have enough VRAM or you downgrade to not enough VRAM why people are not more excited and look imagine you imagine you are a big boss of gpus in amd and you go to the cao and pitch this product and say to to cao look we're gonna release this product they will be stupidly priced we will get very bad reviews like we always do so we'll have to reduce the price in two months anyway to have any chance to sell the product but the bad reviews will stay we damage our brand we probably lose the rest what left from our 10 percent of market share we probably lose in stock value uh, we get bad reviews we're not gonna sell it anyway because we cannot compete with nvidia or even with our own products and yeah it will be just waste of money waste of time it will be just bad product should we do yeah let's do it that's good idea brilliant idea let's do it yeah let's go yeah perfect yeah guys let's go so guys i was thinking are they really that stupid because it's impossible guys this these people were almost bankrupt and at this moment they're killing intel they taking over market share of servers market corporate market desktop cpu market they're killing intel they they doing extremely well but in that case 
let me tell you something. Recently in chess, there was a big drama of people cheating, using computers to, to cheat. So, and the way the computers play sometimes feels like extremely stupid. You're losing the most important figure, like you're losing your queen for no reason, like seemingly no reason. But because computer is so smart and can make the, like calculate the moves long ahead of human brain, they win the games. Like the human have no chance, but so moves looks ex look extremely stupid. So maybe this is just smoke and mirrors. Maybe Maybe AMD just pretend to be stupid, but maybe they're geniuses. Maybe we just don't know. Because look guys, this, these people here they, who are responsible for this card, they're also responsible for PlayStation 5, for Xbox, for Steam Deck, for mob, some mobile phones, uh, new Asus handheld. You know, they make very powerful APUs. So I was thinking, so what are they doing? Are they intentionally trying to lower the value of the company, which is probably illegal, you know, to manipulate the, the market value of the company? Company, but from what I've checked, nobody in the world ever was went to jail for lowering the value of the company. Even Elon Musk, when they said, oh, sell the Tesla stock, they're not worth as much, you know? And then maybe he bought at lower price because he knew the new product will rise the price of the of value of the company. Yeah? It's like conspiracy theory thinking. Maybe the new frame generation from AMD will be amazing. Maybe it will be from driver level that every game will use it. Or maybe they want to kill the low lower stack of GPUs, like lower end, because their APUs, they have PlayStation 5 APU guys. Maybe they want to kill the lower end to, you know, to take over with APUs, or maybe they want to kill PC gaming completely because they are kings of consoles. Maybe they want people to switch to consoles. They sponsored The Last of Us and they sponsored Last Survivor, the most broken games on PC. Maybe that was intentional. Maybe they're geniuses guys. Maybe. Look, the new FS are coming and they said it will be fast and some rumors said that maybe it will be from driver's level, which I, I don't know if it's even possible. But look, they have a Radeon super resolution that works from uh, driver's level. So you can upsample games that don't actually do it normally, like Elden Ring. There's no FSR and DLSS in Elden Ring, but you can turn it on and have upsampling in any game from driver's level. So maybe they want to do from frame generation as well. I don't know. Maybe they're geniuses or maybe they want to be the king of APUs. Maybe they, they want to kill the GPUs because NVIDIA cannot compete with that. They, they cannot do APUs. Only Intel can, but Intel is dying because of AMD. So guys, are they geniuses secretly? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.